I started out, I grew up in a town that has a paper mill and we processed wood to make paper. And since that time, I've thought about the power of local manufacturing from rural locations to take forestry and agriculture and make actual products. The question though is what are the products of the future? Uh, can we take wood lignocellulosic materials such as grasses, trees, and make new chemicals that are better than existing chemicals, make new materials, new products that are based on a local economy? There are many challenges. I think that uh, global warming is one of the most uh, pressing ones. So I think that it's our responsibility as scientists to really try to understand uh, also the impact of the discovery that we do. And especially within this uh, pressure that we have on also of plastic pollution, I think that what is important is really to find a way to, for degradation of this plastic that we already have and in parallel again working with natural material in order to obtain same type of performances but uh, with uh, a different route. Uh, I think the most uh, important contribution uh, for my group is we develop a new water-based synthesis process for uh, making uh, MOV, metal organic framework, because everyone knows MOV, they are very uh, promising for many applications. But in my group, we develop this water-based synthesis so we can synthesize MOV in water so that will, uh, we don't need to use uh, any kind of toxic organic solvent. For the advice for those uh, new uh, 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 students in this area, first of all, I will uh, advise them to follow their heart. For young people that are coming into chemistry and sustainability, I think the biggest issue is that you need to go outside of your, your area of research. Sustainability touches on areas of economics, soil science, climate, policy, and it really, if you're going to look at the problem you're interested in, you need to know how it affects all of these other areas. Well, we're always looking for new chemicals that can com dramatically alter uh, the existing chemical market. So we talk about surfactants, lubricants, but also monomers for entirely new plastics and polymers that can do things that existing polymers can't do. So our next step is really to enable this process on a large scale production so that we can really fabricate this pigment and replace this traditional colorant that often are not really good for the environment, that they require processing that is not really sustainable.